Welcome back. It's International Happiness at Work Week, and we do all spend so much time grinding away <laughs> at our jobs. Thankfully, you, I mean, I like the people I work with, so that helps. Well, this week is an important reminder to bring some joy back into the office. And we wanted to see from our viewers how happy they have been at work. So we created a poll on X to find out. Why don't we take a look at some of the results here this morning? Are you happy at your workplace? 52.9% say no. I haven't voted. I would definitely be a yes because like you, Gianna, I love all the people here at KPIX. But that's pretty alarming. It is. That is alarming. I, I, I'm surprised at those numbers too. And so the big question now is what can we do to be happier at work? And we're asking UC Berkeley Science Director Emiliana Simon-Thomas for some help on this one. Good morning to you, Emiliana. At UC Berkeley, you teach a popular course. It's called The Science of Happiness. I didn't know there was a science to a feeling and an emotion, so please explain. Hi, good morning, thank you for having me. Yeah, well, happiness we define in the science not as the same thing as a specific emotion in a moment of time, but rather as a broader characteristic of your life that involves feeling connected to others, it involves feeling like you matter and who you are and what you do is important to, to others. And, and being able to recover from setbacks and difficulties and feeling supported in those times so that you can relate to challenges uh, in a healthy and, and learning way rather than a threat uh, or fearful way. So what if you are in a situation where maybe your workplace isn't as joyful or you're not that happy? How can you fix that? Is there a way around it or is, is it just time to find a new gig? You know, sometimes it is time to find a new gig. It really depends on the severity of how you're feeling. But for most of us, most of the people who are in that 52% who said, I'm not happy at work, maybe people who use words like grinding or burning the midnight oil or these uh, metaphors that are really about industry, that are really about um, considering ourselves part the cog in a wheel or replaceable parts of a bigger engine. That mentality about work is outdated and is actually really harmful to health and well-being. So at the Greater Good Science Center, we teach people to focus on four main ideas. One is reclaiming your purpose, getting in touch with why you do what you do and who it helps, uh, making place and time for engagement. So having fun sometimes at work, uh, making sure that you're not always distracted by multiple demands happening in parallel, getting into that state of flow, learning skills of resilience. So being able to, again, manage stress in a constructive way, being able to channel difficulties and setbacks into learning and growth. And then finally, kindness. Mm connecting with your colleagues in benevolent and supportive ways, being able to reconcile differences and opinion about what should happen. And that very conveniently spells out perk. So what we like to say is we have the perk at work that actually works. Emiliana, thank you so much this morning. Just in talking to you and hearing from you, it made me happier. It did. We really appreciate the insight. Well, thanks for including me and have a fabulous weekend.